Yo. Okay, so this is a little Sunday update. Just been busy. Um, again, out and about. Um, living life and all of that good stuff. So, let's start from Thursday, right? So, last week. Um, I went to um, this bar and literally every single woman that I liked the look of and wanted to approach was literally in a group of a minimum from three um, to about eight people. So they were like with three other women or like eight other people that consisted of men and women and it was just like socially impossible. So every time like I tried to go and talk to one, like their friend would like pull them away or sort of walk around them and it's just you couldn't really sort of get a conversation in and it was just people traveling like five sixes seven eight nine I, I think I even saw um you know which obviously what you're gonna do conversate with seven eight people you know it's like it's, it's not gonna happen um so yeah that was Thursday however there was somebody um that I managed to approach they were in front of me, right? And, um, yeah, she was from America and, um, she told me that she is Albanian heritage. So obviously she was born in America. She's been in America her whole life. Like she's got the accent and that, but she's, um, her heritage is Albanian. Um, like mine is, you know, I'm quarter Turkish. Um, and she's, um, and I said, oh, that's funny because people say that I look Albanian. And she's like, oh, yeah, um, you got the features. And I like, was talking and talking and she seemed nice. And, um, yeah, she gave me her um, number and um, she's like, oh, yeah, we'll text. And, you know, we hugged and whatever. Um, now, a small part of me thought at this point, um, you know, obviously because um, she's the same heritage as people think that I am, um, you know, there could be a chance that, you know, they say people are attracted to their own race and all of that, so there's a chance that, you know, this could go somewhere, a small part of me thought that, and then I think reality kicked me up my backside, and told me that, how many times have you got American women's number, and, you know, they've ignored, or ghosted, or played games, you know, you know or blocked you, um, all of that stuff comes from that country, like ghosting, and all of the stuff, they do it more over here than they actually do here, um, so that all come from America, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, so I got a number on a Thursday and then I messaged her, um, on 1 PM, um, the Friday. So the next day, literally she blocked me. I was like, what the hell? I'm thinking, why give me, yeah, your real number if you're just going to block me? Now, I don't understand like why they, you know, A, give you their real number and B, why they haven't, you know, gave you a fake number or tried to give you a fake number. It just doesn't make sense. She was even telling me like, you need to do the plus one, like proper into it. Like obviously, because before I knew about um, typing plus one first, it, oh, it took ages to, um, you know, uh, type in American numbers correctly. And like, what, what I don't understand is they don't, it, it, it's not like they try to give you a fake number um, and then you cut it on and they say, oh, well, yeah, I typed the digit wrong. And then they give you their real number. Like, they fully give you their real number. And they don't even try to get out of giving you their real number. And then when you message them, they block you. It's really weird. Well, most of the time they don't block you. Most of the time they just don't reply or they just play games or they ghost you. That's what normally happens. They don't normally block you. That's really weird. Like, you would have thought, oh, they would have tried to give you... um A fake number. No, no, that was definitely, definitely her number. Um, so, yeah. So that was a Friday. Then I thought, you know what? Yeah, that's actually kind of annoyed me. So I'm going to go out. I'm going to do some approaches sober. So um, obviously I had my hair cut um, from Thursday. So it was still looking fresh, you know, because obviously it's a day after Thursday. So the hair was still looking fresh and all that. So put my nice new clothes on. Um Nice new trainers, done my hair nice, um, sprayed my um, self. I've literally used all of my aftershave. I've been going out so much approaching, um, you know, or trying, as they tell people to do. You have to try. 
um, that I've literally used all of one of my aftershaves and I've literally had it just over a month. Like, how insane is that? Um, so, uh, yeah, I wanted to do some approach to sober. So I went to the mall and I thought, do you know what, yeah? I'm going to do five. I'm going to challenge myself to do five approaches in this mall, right? So um, it took a while to pick up, like longer than I expected, to be honest, considering it, it was a Friday in London in one of the best malls. But anyway, so it took a while to pick up. When it finally did pick up, um, um, what happened was um, I approached a woman and she was like, oh, yeah, I've got a boyfriend. And then she was kind of like touching my arm as if like she kind of not not in that way but like in in a way where she kind of like was appreciating it and I was like oh no we're back to that again now this is what I was saying the week before last that you know when I approached two women and I got one number that's extremely rare in my area now it seems to be exactly the same odds if you approach um because obviously all in all that would have been about six seven five six six to seven if you approach six to seven women sober, the chances are you're going to get one number. So when I used to go out drinking and approaching, like I'm going to bars and clubs, I used to always do approaches on the street first. And a lot of the time I'd always get one number. So after six or seven, it's like you do six or seven to get one number sober. Um, and yeah, it, it seems to be like a sort of pattern. It's strange and like sometimes when I go to like Liverpool Street, it'd always be after six, seven approaches, you would always get one um real number. So obviously, um Friday he made up for that when I'd done five approaches and I didn't get anywhere. Like literally I, I got I got a boyfriend, um, people trying to, you know, answer him but then trying to get away, which that doesn't annoy me. When they keep saying they've got a boyfriend, it does get boring after a while, like when you've been hearing it like all day. But obviously, if you've took a break and whatever, then it's just the usual. And, you know, people trying to walk away, that doesn't annoy me. That's just people are entitled to do that. You know, people in a rush, some people don't want to talk. You know, someone don't want to be approached by a stranger. That I understand. What annoys me is when people um, start giving attitude um, and there's no reason for it. Like, at the end of the day, I was looking like good, like with my hair and whatever. I was smelling nice. It's not as if like I looked homeless or unkept or at the end of the day, it's not certain people's fault that they're homeless and, you know, they look sort of unkept. But you have to understand that we live in a very um, weird society where people are very judgmental and even though they shouldn't be judgmental, they are. And that's the way, you know, things is. It's not like you look like a homeless person sort of begging for money. Who are these people? to try and give you attitude. Um, I personally believe, yeah, I have a lot of patience. I mean, doing all of this approaching, I've actually come to the realisation that I have a lot of patience. I'm not laid back, because a lot of laid back people have patience. I'm not laid back, but at the same time, I've got patience. Um, because I feel like if a normal, like someone, not a normal person, I am normal, but if, say for example, someone else done this approaching uh, malarkey, then they would end up snapping and giving up, or both, like, I'm not even joking, because there's only a certain amount of people's attitude you can deal with, and it's, <laughs> and that's, and that's the way it is, so, there was one that said, oh, no, sorry, and I was like, no, sorry, and, and the way she said it is, she was saying as if she was above me, which is weird, because I'm from the same place as they're from, and, like, they still think they're better than you, well, I live in London, in case you didn't know, so, so, out of the five, one, I've got a boyfriend. Four, um, like talking and then trying to get away. Um, and then one, I've got a boyfriend. So um, one, um, you know, attitude. Um, but I have had to deal with um people's attitude in the past. So I was like, okay, so we've done five approaches. We didn't get anywhere. Okay. Which is quite unusual to look groomed and smell good like I did and not being able to even get, for example, a conversation and say, for example, people didn't want to give their um, numbers. They could have gave you the snap or, you know, and, and, and could have maybe just talked to maybe get into a friendship. Like you can't even do that nowadays. It, I was I walked out of that mall thinking, is this actually real life? Is this actually reality? Yeah. So then I went to the bar and I was like, I'm going to see this all the way through now because I'm dressed up. I'm, I've done my hair. I'm looking good. I want to make the most of the haircut whilst it still looks good. Um, done two approaches um, in the bar, unenthusiasm, because it's a Friday, right, unenthusiasm, and the other two, um, I've got a boyfriend, one, 
American was like, oh yeah, I was talk I was trying to talk to her and she was talking and then but it's like she was giving weird standoffish vibes and then when I said, Oh, gonna be number I've got a boyfriend, I was like, Oh, this is driving me mad now. Like literally I had to get my hands and actually squeeze my hands, bro. It was really, really annoying. Like not that I was gonna hit anyone or anything, but it's just like hearing it and dealing with it. The same rubbish all day. Um is is um so that was the third one. So the other two was unenthusiastic um and literally i done another one and it got to the point where it's cold outside i'm still kind of like lagging from the day before and it's like you kind of know what you're gonna get now i wanted to do three days in a row and i've done three days in a row friday being the second day right so when i done another approach i was like oh and then oh, you're cute oh, what's your name she's like oh I've got a boyfriend, um, uh, and, and she was like, no names. Bro, I literally had to refrain myself from saying something. Like, there was a certain thing in my head that I was going to say, but then I thought, well, that's scooping to their level, and, you know, there's no point, no good can come from it. You know, like, you you got no criminal record, I've got no criminal record. I don't want this to escalate, do you know what I'm trying to say? But it's like, um, you know, who who do they think they are trying to, about no names? Why not just say your name, get your boyfriend over here and let's socialise just like normal people do? Why can't people just act like a normal person? I, I just don't understand. And it was, I said to this guy, bro, can I just hold your back for a second? Let me just like squeeze your back to release some stress, please, bro. Thank you. Because this person is, is, and I had to walk in the toilet and I said, this person is pissing me off. Like I know like all of the toilet assistants and that is like, um, and the people know me in there as well and I didn't want to like that. that's another thing I don't want to end up getting a criminal record and just shit escalating for no reason if people want to be arrogant and think they're better than you let them um, so I didn't get any numbers that Friday um, even though I tried I looked my best I went out trying to socialise 99% um, of the people that I meet are cool and I've made a lot of friends from going out and socialising so I have to tap when I'm saying that just so you know um, and I literally I was out, I swear to God, from 3pm until 4am. I'm not even joking. I literally went to bed at about 5 o'clock in the morning. So that right there, just that Friday, and that Thursday, obviously getting the number Thursday, and obviously Friday should tell you all you need to know. Like a groomed person, smelling good, looking good, going out socialising, and literally dealing with people that say they've got boyfriends, dealing with people that don't want to talk, whether if they want to talk or not, that's up to them. But it's still the thing, it's still what we're dealing with are people that's got attitude problems. Now, this is what I mean is that someone else other than me couldn't go out doing this because they would just snap. I think they would snap and just end up telling someone about themselves because it's like, you know, it's it, 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 there's no need for rude people. And like you'll be looking around, like people walking in bars and walking on the street, and their face just looks like they're in disgust. Like they're just so miserable. This is how you know, yeah, it's messed up, this whole society. I literally held the door open for six people, and only one person said thank you. I was like, what the hell? Literally. Like, if that was, if the shoe was on the other foot and somebody held the door open for you and you didn't say thank you, you'd never hear the last of it, literally. But that, that's, that's mad. Like, there's no common courtesy. Um, and I don't just think it's, it's a London thing. I think it's a whole UK thing, um, to be honest with you. So Thursday, I got one number. Friday, I was out for, what was it, 13, 14 hours, didn't get anywhere. I think I done about nine, 10 approaches. I think five in the bar, five in the mall. And that's crazy. That, to me, I was like, what the hell? Um, when I come back, I've done a video. But I didn't upload it. i done a few and then it just killed a bit of time and then I just went to sleep. Now, at this point, I should have took a break. But, you know, me being me, I'm thinking, nah, there's no way I went out for 13 hours on Friday and I didn't get any numbers, um, you know, or, or anything. That is mad. Now, obviously, I was still kind of... So, basically, the sessions that I do you can only really do once a week because say for example you do it one day drinking and going out and you know a bit of the traveling the next day it will catch up with you 
So when you go out and you try and doing it again, it will then catch up with you, which I'll get on to in a minute. So obviously I done Thursday, I done Friday, and I also done Saturday, which was yesterday. So I was like, oh man, I'm not feeling like going out, but I have to, like I can't. I can't like leave it alone sort of thing. I can't leave it alone. So then I went out um, and basically uh, what happened uh, yesterday? Yeah, oh, basically my friends invited me out. Um, like I said, I always get um invited out every um week. So I woke up to message saying, oh, do you want to come out? I was like, do you know what? I've got unfinished history, um, literally. So I'm I'm going to go out again. Now, uh, yeah, done. I don't know how many approaches I've done. And all I've got was I've got a boyfriend, um, unenthusiasm, and just like nothing, basically. Um, I don't remember what others I've done. Yeah, so I've done a few. I've got a boyfriend, I've got a boyfriend, uh, just the same old rubbish, um, people playing games, I approached an American, uh, same kind of vibe that they give off, um, rude, weird vibes, and then, yeah, that's that, I did manage to get a number, now, funny enough, the number that I got was the first approach I'd done, now, at this point, I don't, where the weather's bad, you've been out the past couple of days, and you know what you're going to get, you think to yourself, like, why even try, like, you see someone there, why even try and approach them, what good can come out from this approaching, they're either going to say they've got boyfriends, which is the most likelihood, they're either going to give you an unenthusiasm, they're either going to give you their number, and then when you message them, you know, they just do all these silly little games, you know, either blocking you or ignoring you, like, what good can come out from going and speaking to this woman? And I think once it's happened many, 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 many times in, in a small frame of time, you know that you're just wasting your time because the best you're going to get is a number that just don't reply or if you've got somebody into you, their friend's going to stop you. Now, it's like, at this point, I'm thinking, right, this is kind of mad because that dating apps don't work. With the bars and clubs, they all travel in groups, so it's... Or they give you the numbers and don't reply. You try to approach in public and be brave. No one's having any of it. So what is the actual alternative? And that's the million dollar question, I think, because who knows? Um, so I got I was able to get one number. Um, so I'm going to text that number um, later today. And yeah, all the rest, I've got a boyfriend and just they just weren't having any of it at all. So basically, in those three days I've gone out, I've got two numbers. Now, the woman from last week, you know the number I got in the mall? I was like, oh, let me just message her, see how um, her holiday is, how, how she's getting on. I literally typed to it, like, so we was talking and stuff, and I was like, oh, how's your holiday? Um, question mark. She literally didn't reply. Like, didn't reply. She didn't block me. She's still on WhatsApp. She didn't reply. So it's like all that hard effort for nothing, you know, going out in the mall, doing you know, six, seven approaches to get one number. And, and that's that's the thing. When you approach sober, more than likely they will reply back. But what will end up happening is they'll end up ghosting you. Um, they'll just disappear and you never hear from them again. Um, and obviously, if you get numbers in bars and clubs, the chances are. Now, that the week before last, I actually got four numbers. So, uh, But last week, I got two numbers. And obviously, that American, that Albanian American, like I said, she blocked me. Um, even though she gave me a real number, weird. Um, and this one I've not messaged yet. Something tells me this number is going to do the same thing because I, I just have a feeling they're going to do the same thing. And it's kind of like, it's annoying because it's like, once you've gone out, whether it's once a week, three times a week, whatever, and you get those and then you know it don't go anywhere, you've got to go out and do the whole thing all over again. That's the most annoying thing. I feel like, I'm at this point now where I'm slowly, slowly accepting my reality. Um, and yeah, the people I was with was like, oh yeah, let's go club. And I was like, I don't feel I can walk any further because the two days started really catching up on me, the going out, the drinking. And I thought, oh, let me um, um, gamble £100, like gamble in my budget. And then I won 400 so I won 300 so 300 profit. That's the only good thing that come from yesterday. Um, and I had some food with the people that I was with, and we was having some laughs, like, having a good time with people sat next to us, like, it was, it was a vibe, but, um, that's crazy, that, that just tells you all you need to know about this trying malarkey, when you do go out and try, and you, you try to engage, 
I'm surprised I've got any kind of confidence left. After going all over the country and trying multiple times and multiple times, I'm surprised I've got any kind of confidence left. I think people would have been knocked out the game, <laughs> you know, um, by now. Well, way by now, you know. So that's the thing. Um, and here's what I'm going to do as well. Um, I'm going to detox for a little bit now, obviously. I'm... I'm severely lagging um i'm gonna go out and try again and i'm gonna try um a different club now if this situation still persists where people are telling me they've got a boyfriend where i'm gonna give up i feel like at this point now i can actually give up and i won't regret it because i feel like yeah okay you, you realistically obviously I'm, I'm gonna leave the country like i'm planning to go away in a couple of months anyways um so obviously winning that money helped as well so I feel like I can actually give up now and I'm, nothing will tell me otherwise because I feel like you've been all over the UK you've been to Scotland you've been to Wales you've gone out you've smashed it you've been confident you know you've been social you've made all these friends if trying actually worked we wouldn't be talking about this and I wouldn't be making a video and and, and and that's basically it oh another thing is my friend was like oh are you sure that Albanian um, American woman blocked me I was like what kind of question is that? I'm an adult. Of course I know when someone's blocked me on social media. You know, and yeah, and obviously if the, if the problem still persists where I'm getting these negative results and unenthusiasm, I've got a boyfriend, I'm giving up. Literally, it's it's that simple. Now, that's not to say that I'll, I'll go out in a mall one day and I won't do an approach, um, but it won't be in my head, so I probably won't, but maybe I, I, I could still do that. Um, the very odd time, but I'm I'm done. Literally, the past three days is mad. I went out three days in a row. I'm surprised I'm still standing. Well, I'm actually sitting, but I'm surprised I'm still alive, to be honest with you. All that trying, effort, you know, I even done some sober, and I literally have nothing to show for it. That's not a negative mindset that actually happened. The three days actually happened. Um. So, yeah, and then obviously try detox for a little bit, try again, and then try another club, and then I'm done. I'm literally done. Um. And there's no regrets. Like if if trying worked, it would have worked by now, and 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 that's it. It's it's ridiculous. How many times are you going to keep going out and getting negative results? You know, and even that is it's like okay, no. There's another thing. Or or you can approach somebody and they get talking to you, and then they go on a date with you, um, and then use you, or try to hurt you. That could also happen. Um, you know, so that that's that's a thing that could happen. Um. So, yeah, there's nothing good that comes out from going out and trying, but we, we see... Try and, and this is another thing. We never hear on Reddit this kind of stuff. Like, we hear about incels and we hear about, like, crazy things online, but we never hear about women giving people attitude when you go and you approach them. We never hear anything like that. But to be honest, it's like what I said in my previous video. You're not going to ever get genuine advice because they're either simps or they're women themselves. But it's like... We have to deal with... Um, women that give attitude when we go out and approach, why is that never put out on the internet? Why are people never warned that before they cold approach, oh, you're going to have women that give you attitude? We never hear about any of these things. We never hear about any of them things until we actually go out and we do it ourselves. So, um, that's the thing. Um, so, yeah, that was a waste of time. Three days, absolutely nothing. And, yeah, I could safely say I could, I'll give up and I, I won't look back and I'll leave this country. Um, and that's it, to be honest with you, because I'm not being funny. Do you know the amount of numbers I've got on my phone, even after deleting ones that didn't go anywhere? I have got a lot of women's numbers. And I feel like if trying worked, why are we still in the same position? That's the way you got to look at it. Like we've tried different things. We've gone out, we've smashed it, whether it's been solo, whether it's been with, you know, friends or whatever, like why the problem is still persisting. You know, it, it, it's a new year, like we're trying our best. And that's the, like I said about previous video, that's all you can do is try your best. Um, and if that's not good enough, then maybe it's time to throw in the towel. You know, so that's the thing. Um, it is sad that it has to be that way, that you can't just go out and meet a woman and, you know, vibe and, you know, maybe have kids if people want kids. It's, it, it's sad that you can't get any kind of connection because whenever you try to engage and you actually try to 
show interest and get to know people they all have boyfriends apparently or they give you attitude or they play mind games with you or they're standoffish and I'm thinking that most people in the UK just seem so stuck up I was walking around I'm thinking why are people in this country so stuck up um very 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 stuck up people and I was like like I, I always say I always say to my mum, like, you had me in the wrong day and age. I wish you had me in the 1980s before all this social media, when all the horror films come out, when all the Chucky films come out. Like, I wanted to live a life, like, obviously I was around before all this Facebook stuff and Instagram, but I was really young. I wish I was, like, a few years older. So I, I lived the best of both worlds, you know what I'm saying, where I knew what it was like before social media and now. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's like you're fighting a losing battle. It's like a battlefield, but you're fighting a losing battle. And no matter how many times you try or you look your best, your situation doesn't change. You know. So, yeah, that's basically what it is. Um, so, anyways, I'm going to detox. Um, probably going to have some Krispy Kreme donuts there. I'm going to detox for a little bit. Um, yeah. And then I'm going to go and try again. Um, I'm going to pick one day a week, one day a week, yeah, I'm going to try two more times, I'm going to wait, let, let people get over the Christmas, um, that Christmas season, the New Year's Eve, and if it still persists, I'm giving up, uh, simple, because this is ridiculous now, how much money, and so like every time we go out, we spend money, we waste money trying to, you know, meet a woman and that, it's like every time, it's like, the only positives that come out from this is winning money in the casino, like you go to the casino with a budget, I don't know what the budget is, I have a budget, and it's like the only thing that's positive is the fact that you've won money and you've won the money back and more. It's as if the God, it's, it's like God's telling you, here you go, you want some money, stop trying and leave this country. That's, I feel like that's a message from God every 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 single time. Um, it's, it's weird, it is proper weird, but yeah, I'm going to, that's basically what I was up to last week. Three days in a row, and like I said, surprisingly, I'm still alive, but no bites whatsoever. Um, no matter how I try and what I wear and what I say, um, just the situation doesn't seem to change, and it's so annoyingly, boringly negative now. I feel like it's just easier just to accept it. So, anyways, I've rambled off enough. I've, ram I've rambled on enough now. So, yep, I'm going to detox, try again, and then, like, try, like, another club. And if the, like I said, if the problem still persists, I am done. I'm giving up. I'm waving my white flag. And that's it. So I hope you all have a good Sunday. And, uh, yeah, that's my update. Peace.